All right, so we have a little bit of everything for you from cheetah to zebra to leopard to tiki to safari living room vibes, all because of Teresa and Aussie here, who's a Rhodesian Ridgeback and handsome, handsome, I must say. Talk a little bit about the whole concept of your theme and obviously this beautiful, beautiful dog we have in front of us. Okay, so first I'd like to give a little shout out to Patricia Hoffman, who basically is the person um, over five years ago that started to do this whole theme and develop what it is today. Um, she was unable to make it today, so we're really honored that we took the group one in the, in the Hound Group booth. Um, but we wanted everybody to come here and get the whole safari African theme to go along with our dogs. And some of them, we even have the little, you know, uh, lion hoods and we just wanted you to feel like you were actually out in Africa. <laughs> this is such a brilliant concept, I must say. Thank what you. has it been like with people coming and going today and I'm sure asking a great deal of questions about this unique breed? It has been wonderful. People with their children especially, I am finding that they're um, very educated with the way uh, the sign that the AKC had up before you first came in that said how to come up to a dog, how to interact with a dog, and how to pet them was really a wonderful thing because all the children, no matter what age, they all came up with their hands the right way. They all came up with their um, asking if they could pet the dog. And I really believe that that is through the education of when they first walk in the place to come here. So there's been a lot of people of all generational ages it's been wonderful and everybody has been really great. Aussie is like, you know what, I'm going to lay down and get comfortable. It's been a long, <laughs> been day. A long day. What would you say are some of the characteristics of his breed uh, if people are interested in making, you know, um, Aussie, someone like Aussie, their family pet? Well, I find the breed is a very, um, you know, it's a biddable breed. So if you're really, really active and you jog and you hike and you do things like that, this breed will surely do it with you. Uh, if you spend a little more time, you know, hanging out at home, doing more activities at home, they will also do that with you as well. So they're not, you know, totally hyperactive or anything like that. So they do very well with um, families. I had three children myself and a granddaughter now. And it's just a really calm, a, a really kind of mellow breed that, um, you know, requires activity, of course, but they don't have to be overly active and very well easy to groom it's a it's a low maintenance grooming breed that's perfect for people who are curious about that as well it's a very important note um, as far as training what would you say has entailed his training um, to date well i think it's important to do early development training with the puppy um, you know try to get them to a class so they can get the basic uh, obedience um, so that they learn how to be a good livable dog uh, i do say that with this breed in particular we are a breed that likes food motivation type training. Uh, we don't like trainers who want to put like collars on them that are corrective. They are a sensitive breed and they like food. You can get a Ridgeback to do almost anything with a treat. And that's the way we like them to be socialized and trained. We are one and the same. I love food too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> I think he's liking all the little kids over there. <laughs> he has fans. He has some fans. Yeah.